Leo. What's up, Leo? You know who it is. It's your girl D with 8th House Energy. Here to bring you your Saturn and retrograde reading. I hope all is well with my Leo Massive. I appreciate all the Leo fire energy you bring to the channel. Thank you very much for all the love and support. Um, I do want to let you guys know you can get a reading from me by uh, looking at the information box and getting in contact with me. Uh, it is currently Taurus 2020 season. All throughout Taurus season, you are able to get a 50% off reading. Um, I have five tarot card readings that I offer. Um, there's readings number two, three, and four. You can get them 50% off if you are a Taurus sun, moon, rising, or ascending sign. Okay, so if you have any of those placements as far as Taurus are concerned. Oh, and in Taurus and Venus. Okay, you do get 50% off of those readings. So email me if you have any questions. All right. Um, we're talking about Saturn in retrograde. Now, before I start this reading, I do need to let you all know that this may not resonate with every Leo. Take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? It's very important that you understand that as this is a general read. Um, you can switch the roles as reverse because I'll be doing like a storyline thing here. So if I say it was you, Leo, but it was the other person, just know enough to switch the other role of the person. Don't take it personal. Again, this is a general read. I don't know you, okay? So... With that being said, let's talk about Saturn and retrograde. Saturn is father time, okay? Saturn is all about routines, structure, discipline. Um, it's also all about planning, okay? So when Saturn goes in retrograde, um, usually it'll go in retrograde because the routines, the structure, the, the discipline, um, and the timing of the way you do things is outdated. And it's time for you to restructure it. So what Saturn will do is it will bring back old, outdated people, places, or things into your life that you are no longer involved with or you that you had a routine with, okay? Um, some sort of routine or pattern that you had that's outdated, whether it comes back in the form of a person, place, or thing. And the universe will test you and say, okay, you know, are you still going to do this? Are you still going to tap into this when you know that it no longer serves you? So for example... Say, you know, you were the type of person who, when you, um, okay, for example, not everybody has this issue, but say you were someone who drinks a lot, right? You drank a lot. When you drink, you drink a lot. And when you drink a lot, you drink to the point where you get disoriented and you get yourself into a lot of physical altercations. And you, you drive, you, have, you drove drunk one time, and you got pulled over for DUI, um, and um, say you cut back on those ways now, you're no longer drinking like that because it brought you too much trouble, right? So you cut back at that. Now, you still drink from time to time, but you don't wild out like you used to. Well, say over the summer, because, you know, you got to understand, Pluto's, um, Saturn's going to be in retrograde all throughout till September, okay? It, go, it went into effect yesterday or today, the 11th of May, and it's going to be in retrograde all summer till September, so say you get invited to a party or, you know, Leo season is coming, your birthday's coming. So, you know, you have a big birthday bash, you have lots of, of beer, booze or whatever, and you bring those old friends around that you ain't seen in a while that used to drink heavy with, you invite them, they come over, you guys get drunk, you get tore up out the frame, and then, you know, you get on your shit and then you want to go drive and go to the store and go pick up something because you need ice for the, for the picnic or for the barbecue, all right? You get in the car, you know, you, you, you blast it, you know, people trying to tell you, hey, come on, don't do it. But you, you know, you all in Leo fashion, it's your birthday, you doing your thing, and then you end up getting pulled over and now you got a problem. So Saturn, what Saturn did in this example is it takes old outdated things that you stopped doing that no longer served you and it's going to bring it back to you in some way, shape or form where it's going to affect you. Whether it's um, in your your, it's going to affect you based on your status, what you're known for, your career, or how people see you. Okay, so you got to keep that in mind. So for you, it's going to be in um, your seventh house. All right. So this is the house of partnerships. So this is partnerships where it's related to marriage, um, or it's partnerships in reference to work, business, legal affairs, and sometimes politics. All right, so old outdated routines, things that you were doing in those areas of life that you stopped doing because they weren't working and you're doing well now. 
Well, with Saturn in retrograde, some of those old routines and habits and things you used to do may provide an opportunity for you to indulge in them again. And this is Saturn's test to you to see if you've outgrown that or to see if you understand that, okay, this is no longer in use. That's why I stopped doing it in the first place. So why is it coming back to me? You know, it's Saturn's test. All right. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to mess up with Saturn. All right. So we're going to do some spreads and see how we can keep you out of trouble. So we got the four. What is this? The four of wands. OK, so this is the four of wands. So speaking of partnerships, this is all about celebrations. We were just talking about your birthday, Leo season. Right. So all about celebrations, weddings, parties, things like that. OK, so for some of you, you know, you may have put your party days behind, but, you know, the weather is changing. And, you know, with Saturn in Aquarius, Saturn retrograde in Aquarius, you know, the government on a macro level, the government's going to be, you know, releasing restrictions you know the old outweighted oh, outdated ways in which you know they were doing things as far as you know having us under quarantine things like that that's going to start lifting so people are going to want to celebrate have parties have barbecues and things like that and get together as people having weddings all kinds of good stuff all right but um you know we're going to see how this relates All right, so this could also talk about people getting married, moving in together, four of wands energy. So the we have the high priestess in reverse, which is um, moon energy, major arcana, okay? That's Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. And we have that clarified with the nine of pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. We have the king of wands, which is Leo energy, clarified by the nine of wands, Sagittarius energy. We have the ten of cups, Piscean energy. Clarify with the King of Wands in reverse, Lee, I'm sorry, King of Swords in reverse, Aquarius energy. All right, so Saturn is in Aquarius. Aquarius is, for you, that's the seventh house. Now, the Aquarius is the house of um, partnerships, like-minded friends, associates, things like that. So, you know, these are people that you may work with. Like I said, it could, it could translate into work, business, or legal affairs, you know, organizations that get together for a common cause. Um, this is also about partnerships in reference to relationships and marriage as well. So we got the high priestess in reverse energy here. This is usually talks about clouded judgment with the high priestess in reverse. Um, it could also talk about, um, things being revealed. You know, the high priestess is the keeper of secrets. So some things could be, re re some secrets could be revealed, but we have that clarified with the nine of pentacles in reverse. Uh, this energy here represents somebody who could be a workaholic, okay, work a lot. Um, this could also represent somebody who's envious and jealous, okay. This is somebody who may not be happy single. I had to take a sip. Thank you for your patience. Um, but this could be someone who's jealous, jealous and envious, um, but this could represent some setbacks. But you're not seeing something clearly here. Maybe it's you working too much, Okay could be all right so if you were one of those workaholics and you were constantly working you know saturn you know saturn may come in and tell you okay that's a little outdated you can't work the way you used to work anymore that's not going to work for you anymore um but let's see so we got the king of wands this is your energy leo energy clarified with the nine of wands so the king of wands is someone who likes to take action someone who's not going to sit back and just let you know it's like you come up with creative ideas and creative ways to do things. You're, you're someone who, when you walk in, the spotlight is on you. Like, you know, when you think of Leo, you always think about, you know, the stage, you know, because you guys set the stage. You guys come in, you, you're the fire of the group, you're the light of the group. You don't mind attention. You enjoy attention. You like when the spotlight is on, is on you for the most part, most Leos do, you know, and that could be a positive or a negative depending on, you know, what the intentions of the Leo is. We have to clarify with the nine of wands. So you could be defensive about something, okay? So you could be taking action about something and defending yourself in reference to something. Taking action to defend, okay? Taking action to block. Um, this could be you, you know, coming up with creative ways to guard, defend, or block something, okay? Then we have the ten of cups energy. This represents a nice, solid relationship. It represents family life as well. With family as in brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, things like that. But this is, you know, you being happy with your family life. We have that clarified with the King of Swords reverse. Now, 
This is interesting energy here because the King of Swords reverse is Aquarius energy. And this represents um, energy of someone who could be corrupt. Someone who could not be honest. Okay, but we got here that there's some clouded judgment, clouded vision. Some things are not being revealed or they're going to be revealed. But someone could be holding some things back. So you could be defending um, something. Okay, it could be a secret that you're trying to defend. You don't want people to know. Could have something to do with work. Okay, um, and you could be maybe trying to keep that from your family. So there could be something going on at work you don't want your family to know. Or it could be something um, with your family you don't want to let your, you know, your partners know about. Maybe there's some type of party or celebration going on at work of some sort. Um, hmm. There's some type of jealousy going on here with the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody is, um, usually with the Nine of Pentacles, this represents someone who's single, okay? So there's a secret being revealed about maybe you dealing with someone, and it could be at work, okay? It could be the way that you're doing things at work, the routine, um, way that you go about dealing with uh, maybe a co-worker at work, okay? Hmm. Interesting. So you could be coming off as someone who's charismatic with the job. You could be, you know, in whatever environment. You could be coming off as someone who's charismatic, someone who's smooth, and you could be trying to defend that reputation, okay, is what I'm getting here. Um, but the reality is you could be, you know, scheming. Someone could be scheming on you. Take the energy how it resonates. But somebody is up to no good here. Somebody's not being honest about something. And something is about to be brought to the light, okay, because of jealousy and envy is what I'm getting here. So it could be, you know, the fact that, hmm, let's take a look and see what these other cards are. We'll put this piece of puzzle together here. So we have the Four of Wands energy. We have the Ten of Pentacles showing, oh, showing up. Okay, we also have the Ten of Cups. We have the Star card in reverse, Aquarius energy. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse, okay? And we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Now, we know the Four of Wands is overall energy. The Ten of Pentacles represents a family life, okay? So you, you're, you're, some of you are married. You're happily married with your family or your partner. You don't necessarily have to have kids, but you could, okay? And then you have the Star card in reverse here. This major arcana energy here. This is someone who's depressed. This is someone who could be... Um, in a situation where they're feeling ignored or this could be arrogance. But we also have the Ace of Swords in reverse, which represents that something is being hidden. There's cards here that talk to me about things being hidden, not being revealed. The Page of Pentacles in reverse could represent that there's no messages about money. Okay. Hmm. We got Pentacles, Pentacles, Pentacles. So this is definitely work related with you. Okay. Somebody could be... <clears throat> Defending their reputation at work in some sort of way. Because with this star card in reverse and the ace of swords reverse and the king of swords reverse, this is giving me arrogance. This is giving me arrogance. This is giving me energy of somebody who um, may not be honest. Okay. Um, here's jealousy here. Here's greed here. Envy, financial setbacks. Somebody could be having some issues with money. And with the page of pentacles in reverse, somebody may have to pay out. Or they're refusing to pay out. Let's see what else we got going on here. So we got the knight of swords in reverse. The three of cups reversed. The two of cups reversed. And the uh, queen of pentacles. So the Knight of Swords reverse, the Three of Cups reverse. Okay, so this is um, fake friends. I'm getting strongly fake friends um, who are trying to come in between your relationship. You might be fighting with friends. <clears throat> the Knight of Swords is, is is somebody who I get strongly somebody's not going to change their ways. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. Some of you are married. 
okay, and um, you're fighting with your wife, fighting with your husband, there's disagreements, arguments, it could be in reference to old friends that you were hanging out with, with the Three of Cups in reverse, and them not changing their ways, hanging out with old friends who bring you, you know, who are not going to be any good for you. Or they could be revealing something from you because they're jealous of you. They look at you like you had the nice life, all right, and you reconnect with these people, and um, they put you in a position where you're being questioned about what you're doing. Yeah, I think you're going to have to be careful here. But there's somebody who wants to reconnect with you. And you're not interested because you're married. Okay? So somebody could be trying to, you know, pick things up back the way they used to be. You know? Um, and you're not interested now. You're married. Okay? But you do want to be careful here because it may be revealed that you were dealing with this person. Now, you may have gotten away with it. But you do want to be careful because this person may be coming back. And you may be tempted to indulge in this situation again. Some of you are getting married, okay? Or you're newly married or you're engaged. And this old person from the past is trying to come back because they're feeling ignored by you. They're feeling like you're not acknowledging who they are or not acknowledging the part they played in your life. That's how they're feeling, okay? So you're going to have to be very careful because if you indulge in this one last time, so to speak, because... You know, you're getting married. You're feeling like, okay, let me go ahead and, you know, let me go ahead and see them real quick. And because I'm, I'm going to be off the market soon. It's going to blow up. It's going to blow up in your face. Don't do it, Leo. Do not do it. All right. That's what I'm seeing here. So, like I said, with Saturn, old outdated patterns coming back. And what's going to do, what it's going to do is either going to ruin your status. It's going to ruin, it's going to um, hurt your status. It's going to hurt what you're known for. It's going to hurt your career. Or it's going to hurt how people see you. All right. So basically your reputation. All right. So you may have this reputation as an upstanding, stellar, you know, a good person. Um, but on the low, you could have been having an affair. All right. So you got to be careful here because that may be revealed again if that person comes back and tries to tempt you again. Or what could happen. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. That person could try to come back. You may have ended things with them or you tried to end things with them. But I'm getting for some of you, you ended it. Because Saturn is all about, okay, let's see if the old stuff you used to do, if you're going to be tempted by it again. So it could be a different person who may come to you in that same um, scenario. And it could be at your workplace, you know, having an affair at your workplace. So you have to be careful. The next set of cards we have is the Seven of Pentacles here. This represents um, Taurus energy, okay? So this is um, all about patience. This is all about taking time to watch something grow, okay? It's going to take patience, time, and effort that you're going to have to put into this scenario or situation, or it represents patience, time, and effort, okay? So let's see what the cards are. Now, we're going to have an extended to this video, all right? The link is going to be in the box below. It's the Patreon membership. It's five bucks a month. You get to see all the extendeds for all the videos that I do, all right? It's a great deal. Check it out. Current situation. You're on top of the world. You're six of, of wands energy, okay? Current situation. All is good in your life. You're successful. Things are beautiful, okay? The challenge is, is the eight of cups in reverse. Like I told you in the last spread, somebody's trying to come back. Somebody's trying to come back. Now, what your spirit guides, guardian angels, and ancestors are trying to tell you or want you to embody the energy of is temperance, okay? Balance. Your life is okay now. Everything is balanced. It's the way you want it. Um, do you want to keep it that way? Okay? Don't get caught up in your emotions. Don't get caught up in your obsessions. Because with the balance, you know, you have your emotions here, which are your passions. See the red here? That's your passions. The globe here represents you being grounded and stable. You, you got the balance between the two. If you tap into that old energy here, that's going to be you feeding into those old passions Wanting to get with this person who comes back. And Saturn is going to get you if you do it. Now where your head is at is the Seven of Wands. Okay, so you may have some options. Okay, a couple of people may be coming at you at this time. This could also represent the fact that you're in your head. Because this is Leo energy. 
Leo is all ruled by the sun. The sun is about the self, the ego. So you could be in your head with your ego fighting back the idea, the thoughts like, damn, should I do this? Should I? You could have other people coming at you where you feel like, okay, well, I dealt with this person. I ended it. It's no problem. I could, you know, I'm about to get married. I'm about to settle down. Let me, you know, hang out and do what I want to do real quick and get that taken care of real quick. And then I don't have to worry about it. But the outcome is you're going to lose out with the page of cups in reverse. You're going to lose your person because it's going to come out. All right. This is Saturn's test to you. So you're going to have to be very careful. All right. So what we're going to do in the extended is we're going to break these cards down and find out what's going on. Find out if this is the same person coming back or if it's someone new or if you just have a bunch of people always throwing themselves at you and you're trying to stay cool and not feed into it. Because you're, some of you are in a relationship right now. You're very happy and you're very satisfied. We had that 4-1. Some of you are getting married. Okay? Or some of you are married. And you don't want anything to come in and interrupt your um, partnership. Because it will with Saturn energy in retrograde. You have to... Um, Saturn is all about routines. It's about rules. It's about regulation. It's about discipline. And when it's in reverse, it's going to bring back those things that you have you know weren't disciplined about. You might have gotten yourself together. But it's going to bring it back once more and test you. All right? So we'll go to the um, extended and see what's going on with that. And we'll get you some advice so that you can steer clear of this energy. All right, Leos. If this resonated with you, please let me know. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll know I'm posted. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the extended or the next read. Peace out, Leo.